um, it shell like got fungal like that. Okay, appetite is poor. Huh? How long already? It's not eating for one month. One month already? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Any stools at all? No. What are you feeling now? Uh, still the so green palette. The commercial palettes? Huh? Mm. Any change? Recently? No, but no. it's always floating on the water. Not he no, didn't eat it at all. Not eating, eh? Huh? Yeah, but um, um, we recently have... the his partner passed away. Even huh? though we sent it to the vet, then take antibiotic jets all mm. this because he has RI. Mm. Then okay. after that, they gave some vitamin B to give care food. Mm. That's okay. But so then we only the feed the the tortoise one time the critical care food and the antibiotic oral. It passed away the next day. Okay, when was that? Just uh, mm -hmm. two days back only. Passed away two days ago? Yeah, and they stayed together previously. Until I noticed that that one got RI, so I separate them. So I do not know. Okay, no problem. Uh, I just asked a few questions about your tank. Uh. Okay, so first thing is how are you managing the water? Any water filter? No water filter. Any chlorinator? No. Do you know the water temperature? Uh, usually we will make it warm. Uh, I mean during this period then we make it warm. Okay. Uh, then after that the water just turns cold. We don't have a warmer or heater. The, but we got the basking light. Okay. So since it's sick we on the basking light quite long for for it. Do you have a picture of your home? The, the tank. tank. Yeah. Okay, okay. I can ask uh, it's not a tank. Fish it's tank. only until recently then we know that there are so many things to prepare for. Yeah, okay, because so. just to give you a summary, uh, okay, most of mm. the problems right that happen to therapies uh, 95% are either due to husbandry or diet. Husbandry means environment. Uh, okay, so a couple things for you to take note, okay, in the future. Okay, because if there are any problems with these two things, uh, what happens is the stress level increases, the immune system drops, you get fungal infections, your respiratory infections, so on and so forth. This all because either hygiene issues or the immune system is not strong. Uh. Okay, so a couple things to take note. Okay, so diet wise, the green palace are actually okay, that's good. Okay, second thing, normally we advise it to be the water to be filtered and dechlorinated. Uh, okay, because this one, our Singapore tap a lot of chlorine. Uh. Okay, that's why it's so clean, okay? And then filtered is hygiene. Uh. So if there's clean water, normally... We change it every day. Correct, but you, because you don't filter it, uh, mm. you don't uh, dechlorinate it, so it's going to be high levels of chlorine every day. Uh. Mm. Okay, so that's one thing, that's with the water. Mm. Okay, the second thing we talk about is the sunlight. Uh. Sunlight or UV light. I understand you've got a basking lamp, but is that UV lamp also? Or is it just a heat lamp? They mention... Because there's two UV. different types, uh, okay? Uh, the, the selfish that place, no tell me say, is a UV light also. Okay, so no problem. Mm. If you if you can, and if it's a UV light, that's fine. If not, what you can do is you can put in sunlight for about half an hour per day, okay? And then that one will let the food be absorbed into the body, uh, mm. okay? The third thing is uh, temperature, okay? Temperature, you need what's called temperature gradient. Okay, essentially what that means uh, is because they are cold blooded, they can't adjust their own temperature. So they are susceptible to your environmental temperature, we call it ambient temperature. Okay, so temperature gradient means uh, that you need to put the heated area, your, your heating lamp, uh, basking lamp, uh, at one corner of the cage. Okay, or the tank or whatever. Uh. So there is this gradient downwards, so to hot to cold. Uh. Okay, so at least if they are too warm, they will go to high. If they are too cold, they will come and bask. Uh. Okay, so you, you need to give them that range. Uh. Okay, of course you also need wet and dry. Okay, so normally one square tank we divide wet dry. Okay, and the dry area of one corner we put a heat lamp uh, or maybe lamp also. Uh. This one will settle most of the things for you already. Okay, and then other than that, it's just more of a hygiene issue. Uh. Okay, so anyway, uh, the last thing is I forgot to mention space. Uh. Space also needs to be relatively big. Uh. If you put a therapy into a small tank, it's not going to work. Uh. Okay, so anyway, uh, currently, okay, treatment for this fella, normally we have ICU hospitalized two days, okay, we will give you antifungal wash, that's for the shell, okay, we will start on the course of antibiotics, okay, and then we try to force feed for you, okay, if let's say that it starts to get better, uh, then we send home and let you do, okay, if you are comfortable with it, 
Then within these two days, we need you to put the, the setup properly at home, la, which is your husbandry. La. Because if you're putting a sick therapy into a same environment, it's not going to get better. La. You understand what I mean? Okay? So you need to set up a, a nice sort of tank for the better. Buy area. water heater outside. Can everything you can buy. La. Just put inside the water, then the water will always be the same temperature. It's not entirely necessary, okay, as long as your room temperature is not aircon, it's just room temperature. Oh. If you're putting in cold aircon, then everything is going to be cold, regardless of how heat, heated you put. Lah. Oh? Okay, so anyway, uh, antibiotics, we have to start, and then force feeding, and then uh, hospitalization, and then the shell itself will teach you what to do, but basically we use a soft toothbrush. We actually try to use an uh, antifungal to scrub off the white stuff. Lah. Okay, then over some time, it will slowly be gone. Lah.